Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out this month's platinum box, or actually platinum bag, from Monster Bass for the month of May 2024. Let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we got for this month. Alright, seeing some good stuff here right off the rip. So, we've got, of course, as we do now, the bag. Love the new bags. Just going to reach in here at random. First up, post spawn help. So, we got uh, our guidebook. Talks about all the, uh, the lures in the bag, tips and tricks, best ways to fish them. Looks like we're going to have a bunch of spawn related baits. So, it's the perfect time for that. Let's go ahead and crack into it and see what we got. So, we've got a Bagley Balsa B1 to start. That's in the... What color is this? CRCW. So, some sort of crawl color. doesn't spe specifically say, but it's definitely a crawl type color. 2 inch, 7 sixteenths of an ounce. It's going to be a shallow diver diving uh, 5 to 6 foot. It's got a welded through wire design. Nice square bill there. Got a very similar color pattern in another... Uh, shallow diving standard crankbait of theirs. Can't remember if it was in a Monster Bass box or another box that I had gotten, but I know I've got something in a very similar color pattern to that. It works well, so definitely glad to have that. Next up, looks like another hard bait here. Smithwick uh, jerk bait, suspending. It's going to dive up to six foot, four and a half inches, three eighths of an ounce. It's a nice kind of ghost type pattern there. This is the Pro Rogue model. I know Smithwick uh, jerk baits have been around for a long time. I haven't personally used them a lot, um, but I'll definitely put this one to use. I definitely love a jerk bait. Some nice ghost pattern. It's got some purple on top, blue on the head. It's kind of a iridescence to it as well. Hopefully that flash is coming through on the camera. On the bill it says Smithwick Rogue Suspending. Kind of a faint, higher pitch rattle system there. All right, next up from Mustad, we've got an arm lock spinner bait. This is in the orange gold color, quarter ounce. Looks like it's a double willow blade. So this arm lock construction that they're using, it's got kind of an added wire um, on the jig head side. Pull this out so I can show you guys a little bit better. So this is a quarter ounce, smaller blades, real compact, kind of finessey skirt. Uh, this arm lock, though, as you see, has got kind of a reinforced arm on the head. So even with that lighter wire, it really shouldn't get bent up a lot. It's going to kind of help reinforce that. Really like that color, that gold, black, and orange. A little translucent with some gold flake in it on there as well. Definitely be throwing this. That's a smoke show. All right. Next up, another spinner bait here. And this is one I've actually already got. Already gotten some catches on this, which you guys will be seeing soon. This is the Blade Burner spinner bait from Monster Bass. 
This is the Colorado version, 5 aught Mustad hook, 3 eighths of an ounce. This is the new limited color Grape Ape. Um, I've actually got one of these already, got kind of an early look at one of these, but um, who knows, maybe this one will end up in another giveaway here soon. Uh, we're getting really close to 750 subscribers, so if you haven't already, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future content I have coming out. But we'll definitely be doing another giveaway. Uh, when we do hit 750, you might see this one in there. It's got a gold and silver Colorado blade. Nice black and blue and purple. All right, looks like we've got some soft plastics here. Starting off with the Helicross in black and blue from Z-Man. This is a three-pack, 3.75 inch. Uh, these definitely get bit. Love using these. We've also got some RC Cross and Watermelon Red from V&M. Pull these out here. Kind of a unique shape on these. Got some little appendages up at the top. Kind of like a brush hog a little bit with the way those are up there. Kind of tighter, smaller craws, and then it's got this wide body, but it's also perforated, so you can actually tear these segments off the side and make that a, a thinner, slimmer bait if you want to as well. Kind of like that. It's supposed to be super scented. Mostly just smells like Plastisol to me. Should be able to get bit on those, like those. And last but certainly not least, we're going to be seeing these a lot in the Monster Bass bags now since Rick has purchased this company. But we've got some soft plastics from Grande Bass. These are the Airtail Rattlers and Summer Craw 5 inch. Love that Summer Craw worm. Grande Bass was one of the first to start using this kind of ribbed body that you're seeing on a lot of these uh, baits now. Definitely has a lot of water displacement. Um, and obviously with that air tail, that's going to help float up. Um, good place to also put like a glass bead or a rattle if you want to do that as well. Is it make a nice Nico rig. Texas rig these as well. Great color there with the summer crawl. You guys will probably have an opportunity to win yourself some of these here soon too in one of my future giveaways. Pretty good bag this month. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Always love hearing you guys' feedback. Again, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I will see you on the next one.